Did you know that Calendly allows you to create appointment scheduling forms that you can then embed directly onto your WordPress website? And did you know you can do this completely for free? Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now in this brief Calendly tutorial, I'm going to share how you can simply embed a custom appointment scheduling form onto your WordPress website. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into Calendly, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this brief Calendly and WordPress tutorial for beginners. <music> Okay, so to get started, we first need to sign in or sign up to Calendly. Now, if you currently do not have a Calendly account, simply head over to calendly.com and that's gonna take you here. Go ahead and sign up and we'll meet you inside your dashboard. And for those that already have a Calendly account, again, what we'll do is meet you inside your Calendly account. And here we are inside our Calendly account. Now, if I navigate over to the left-hand side, you'll notice that you'll have a default appointment scheduling form in here. This is if it's your first time signing up with Calendly. Now, for all those that are completely new to this appointment scheduling software, then I recommend watching our complete Calendly tutorial for beginners, which I'll link up above and down below in the description that will help you set up Calendly and also create your first appointment scheduling form. So go ahead and check out that video if you're completely new to Calendly. And Calendly's free plan only allows one event type to be activated at a time. So here you can see I have an active appointment scheduling form. This is for a strategy session, a 30 minute one-on-one -on -one strategy session that I created in a previous tutorial, the one I mentioned earlier. Now to embed this form on our WordPress website, all we would do is navigate down and click on share. Then simply navigate over to add to website. And as you can see, we have three options for embedding Calendly onto our website. Down here, you can see we can embed a pop-up text. Above this, we have pop-up widget and a floating button that opens a pop-up. Basically, this will be a button on your website pages that people can click and that's going to open up your Calendly form. And then we also have inline embed, adding a scheduling page to your site. So basically, if you have a specific page where people can schedule appointments on your website, then you can actually directly embed the form onto that website page. And what I want to do is embed my form by using the inline embed. So go ahead and simply click on this option, then come down and click continue. Then if we navigate over to the left hand side, we have some booking page settings. So we can customize the look of our booking form so that it flows with our website pages. We can navigate down and change the background color, text color, and button and link color if we like. And you can always change this at any time. So for now, I'm happy with these form colors. So I'm going to navigate down and click copy code. And that's gonna copy this entire code snippet over here. And you can also embed Calendly on other website builders like Wix and Squarespace. However, today we're just going to focus on WordPress. So once you've copied this code, what you want to do is go ahead and log into your WordPress website. And once you've logged into your WordPress website, simply navigate over to the left hand side and locate pages. Now what you can do is choose a page that you want to embed Calendly on. What I'm going to do is go ahead and add a new page. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to call this page strategy session. Then what we need to do is locate custom HTML. To do that, simply navigate up to blocks and then type in custom and then click and drag custom HTML onto your page. Then simply come down to write HTML and paste in the Calendly code that we copied earlier. And then what you want to do before you go ahead and publish your new page and your new form on your page is you want to preview what the form will look like. 
Now, if you use a page builder like Elementor, what you can do is click on edit with Elementor and under elements over on the left hand side, all you would do is type in code and then locate HTML and simply drag that block and drop that in your page where you want to add your form. Then under HTML code, simply paste in the Calendly code. And as you can see, that's going to embed the Calendly form. And now when a visitor lands on our strategy session page, they can directly book a strategy session with us directly on this page through this appointment scheduling form. And then all you would need to do is click on publish to publish your new page. And now what I'm going to do is show you one last thing by navigating back to Calendly. And within Calendly, what we're going to do is navigate back. And now we're going to select pop-up widget. Simply click here and come down and click continue. And first, what we want to do is change the name of our button text that will appear on our website pages. I'm going to call this book strategy session. And then down here, we have the option to customize the colors of the button that will appear on every page of our website. Again, make sure that your button style is similar to your website theme. Then come down to booking page settings, and again, this is where you can customize the booking page so it seamlessly fits in with your website theme. Okay, so what we're going to do is come down and click copy code, then navigate back to your WordPress website. And this time we're going to use a plugin to install the button on every page of our website. So once you've logged into your WordPress dashboard again, simply navigate over to plugins and click add new. Then navigate up to search plugins and type in HFCM and come down and locate header footer code manager and click on install now and once the plugins installed simply click activate and then navigate down the left hand side and locate HFCM and click on add new then go ahead and name your snippet we're going to call this strategy session and then locate site display. This is where we have the option to add this button to specific areas of our website. Now we want this button to appear site-wide, so we're gonna keep site-wide selected. We can also exclude pages and posts over here. Then simply scroll down to the bottom and where it says snippet code, go ahead and paste in that Calendly code. Then navigate down the bottom and click save. And once you've done that, simply go ahead and view your new button on your website. And then down in the bottom right hand corner, you will see your new button that you just embedded on every page of your website. Now, as you will notice, this has powered by Calendly because we're using the free version of Calendly. Now, if I click on this book strategy session button, that's going to generate my scheduling form. And as you can see, the visitor can now schedule this appointment with me. However, that is everything I wanted to cover in today's tutorial showing you how you can embed Calendly forms onto your WordPress website. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Calendly tutorial sharing how you can simply embed a custom scheduling form into your WordPress website using Calendly. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.